All right, here we go. Uh, our next piece is going to be one of these little guys. So these are what we call a one by one cylindrical Lego. Um, and I've got three of them right here. Uh, what you'll notice is that the top usually has a hole in it. So it's actually hollow all the way through. Uh, so that's how we're going to make it. I don't know that it always comes that way, but I think a lot of times it does. So we'll, we'll go ahead and make it that way. Uh, so we're going to open up a new uh, part file. And uh, cylinders, there's two different ways. You could design half a profile and revolve it, or you could design them as uh, circular pieces, which is what I'm going to do on this. We'll do the revolve on a, a different piece in a little bit. Uh, so we're going to open up a sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the top plane. And we're going to put a, uh, we're going to make the main part of this first. Okay. And that dimension is going to be uh, 5 sixteenths. Of an inch and that is your that is your standard lego so if i put on something like this what you're going to see is that the yellow comes perfectly tangent with all of that one by one that's on top of here okay so that's why we do the 5 16 and what we're going to do at this point we're going to go ahead and extrude that guy because the entire height of this thing needs to be 3 8 because that's the standard for a lego also so we'll say 3 8 for the height and it's going to look something like that and we'll say okay and there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and put a new sketch right on top. And uh, let's go ahead and look right at that top face. And this is going to be our knob. So like we've seen in the other parts, uh, knobs always have a diameter of 3 sixteenths. So we'll click and say 3 sixteenths for the diameter of that. And it always comes up the same amount, which is not going to be that amount. It's going to be 1 16th, just like that. Okay, now we're not quite ready to shell this yet because what you'll see is at the bottom, there's actually a little bit of material removed from the bottom here. So let's go ahead and look directly at that bottom face. And we're going to put a sketch on it. And we're going to put a circle right here and this one remember the outer circle is 5 sixteenths the knob on the top was 3 sixteenths and we want this to be right in between so we're going to choose this inner circle and we're going to say 4 sixteenths which is one quarter so you, you can put in whatever fraction you want uh, as long as it is one quarter and it's going to look something like that now i'm trying to remember if i need to put a circle on this outside or not i want to extrude this outside donut area I'm going to go ahead and try that real quick and see if it'll let me select that area. And it won't. So I'm going to go ahead and close extrude. I'm going to go back to that sketch and put another circle, concentric, right to this outside. It locked. Extrude. Now I can choose that area. Okay. And it thinks I'm trying to add material. I'm not. Um, and what you're going to learn is that extrude is not what we want. Extrude cut is what we want. So we're going to click that. And I made that sound like I actually knew that, which I did, but I forgot. Um, so we select that. It's trying to cut it up one sixteenth of an inch. Now let's figure out if that's actually how much we want. So we know that the knob on top is 1 16th of an inch and that cutout is just about 1 16th of an inch. So we'll go with it. So we'll leave that as a 1 16th of an inch cut. And we'll say okay. And we now have that. Okay, and that looks good. Now what we need to do is shell this thing. We need to remove that bottom face, but we also need to remove that top face and have it cut all the way through. So we're gonna go to shell. It's saying right in here, faces to remove. So I'm going to click on that top face. Also going to click on this bottom face. Now, if I put in a thickness of 1 16th, it's not going to be correct. It would have been correct if we were using the 5 16th diameter here, because it would leave us 3 16th hole for a knob to fit in. But this is not a 5 16th, this is a 4 16th. So in order for that hole, to be 3 sixteenths, we actually need to decrease this to 1 32nd instead of 1 16th. 
and when we hit OK, you'll see you now have that 3 16 hole here. And it also made this what was 3 16 here, it made this a 1 8 diameter hole right there on top, which is exactly what we want it to be because oftentimes you'll have a post or something that needs to fit into there. All right, and that's this part. This point, you can apply a color. Oops. If you've got it in here, this is a good thing to know. If you're in here, you want to select part color and it'll apply it to the whole thing. Just like that. Save it and you're done.